Notion just released the recurring templates feature which is a massive turning point for the Notion platform and one of their biggest updates yet. This is the first time you can truly automate something inside of Notion without using the API through tools like Zapier or Make and this is going to be the building block for future automation updates. So let's take a look at how we can make use of this exciting new feature as well as the 9 other Notion updates that you might have missed. If we go to a database with the template buttons and click on the drop down arrow next to new, you'll see at the top you now have the option to repeat this template button daily, weekly, monthly and yearly. So let's say we have a meetings database for meetings we do every Wednesday and Friday. If we click on repeat weekly, we can select Wednesday and Friday, we can choose if we want to skip certain weeks, we can add the date from which we want the template to start recurring and then also choose the time. It's currently 11.02 so I'm going to set this to 1 minute from now and keep it on GMT2 because that's the time zone here in South Africa. Through the power of editing I can time travel 1 minute into the future and as you can see a new database entry with a selected template has been automatically created. Another example of how you can use this recurring templates feature is on a daily journal. You can set a new daily journal entry to be created at a specific time every day which will automatically show up on your calendar if your calendar is grouped according to the created time property. Once you click on the new journal entry you can fill out the bullet journal and check off the habits you've completed and then with the help of a formula and the notion to charge line graph you can visualize the progress of your habits throughout the month. This line graph is an amazing way to motivate yourself to complete your habits and if you want to see a tutorial on how to create a dynamic habit tracker just like this then make sure to give this video a like. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. So let's now quickly go through the 9 other Notion updates that you might have missed starting with the feature allowing you to now duplicate values from one cell to another. Just like in Excel you can now drag the circle on the bottom right corner of a table database and duplicate the value of the cells in that column. The keyboard shortcut for this would be to select the value you want to duplicate and then while holding in shift select all the cells you want and then press ctrl D to duplicate the value. This is going to be a really useful feature. Another tiny feature you might have noticed already is the ability to toggle the vertical lines on or off while using a table view. You can find the setting under the layout tab in the database menu. The next feature gives you the ability to add dynamic mentions in the title of a database template. Inside a template you can now mention a date and time, a page or a person inside of the title. An example of how you can use this feature is for adding a specific date to a new recurring meeting notes template. Another tiny feature is auto expiring public pages. When you share a page to the web you now have the option to set if you want the page link to expire in an hour, in a day, in a week or you can choose your own date. On standard width pages when you use two columns you can now resize the columns to be wider and expand beyond the standard margins of the page. Another tiny feature is being able to double click on an image and go through all the images on the page while viewing them in full screen without scrolling through the page. It's also much easier to now zoom in and out and to download images from the new menu. The next feature is for when you add a new property to a table database by clicking on the plus. This will now open the property select panel instead of defaulting to the property text. A tiny feature but useful for staying in the flow. The next feature is a new section for relation properties. When you're using a relation property you can now select how you want the relation to be displayed. You can choose to show the property as its own page section which will give it its own section at the bottom where you can select which properties you want to display and you also have the option to show the relation property as minimal which works similar to how backlinks are displayed. I absolutely love this feature. The last feature is easier editing inside of board views. In a board view you can now click on the pencil icon to edit the name as well as the displayed properties of your database item. Also once you're in editing mode the editing icon changes to the side peak icon so you can open the database item in a side peak view to do even further editing. Comment down below which of these new Notion updates are your favorite and which updates you would like to see in the future. Subscribe for more Notion content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.